Imagine a world where peace resides not just in quiet moments, but in the fabric of everyday life. A world where every action, every interaction, and every thought is imbued with a sense of tranquility and balance. This is the essence of WA, a Japanese concept that embodies harmony, balance, and peace. WA is not just a fleeting feeling or a temporary state of mind, it is a profound and enduring way of being. In Japanese culture, WA is more than just an ideal, it's a way of life. It permeates every aspect of society, from the bustling streets of Tokyo to the serene countryside. It's about fostering a sense of interconnectedness, where individuals strive for collective well-being. In the workplace, WA encourages teamwork and collaboration, ensuring that everyone works together harmoniously towards a common goal. WA reminds us that we are not isolated individuals, but part of a larger whole. It teaches us to see beyond our own needs and desires, and to consider the impact of our actions on others and the environment. When we embrace WA, we cultivate a deep respect for ourselves, for others, and for the world around us. This respect is evident in the way people interact, in the rituals and traditions that are passed down through generations, and in the care taken to maintain harmony in all things. This harmony within and without brings a sense of peace and fulfillment. It allows us to find contentment in the present moment and to approach life's challenges with a calm and centered mind. It allows us to navigate life's complexities with grace and resilience. By practicing WA, we learn to adapt to changing circumstances without losing our sense of balance and inner peace. In a world often characterized by busyness and discord, WA offers a path to a more balanced and meaningful existence. It reminds us to slow down, to appreciate the beauty in simplicity, and to find joy in the small moments of everyday life. By integrating the principles of WA into our daily lives, we can create a ripple effect of harmony, starting with ourselves and extending outwards to our relationships, our communities, and the world at large. This ripple effect can transform not only our own lives, but also the lives of those around us. Let us explore the transformative power of WA and discover how we can cultivate this harmony in our own lives. Through mindful practices, we can learn to embody the principles of WA in everything we do. Through mindfulness, compassion, and a commitment to living in alignment with our values, we can experience the profound peace and fulfillment that WA offers. Let us embrace this ancient wisdom and allow it to guide us towards a more harmonious and fulfilling life. True harmony begins within. It is the seed from which all other forms of peace grow. Without a calm and centered mind, our efforts to create harmony in the world around us can often feel like trying to build a house on a shaky foundation. Before we can cultivate harmony in our relationships and communities, we must first find peace within ourselves. This inner peace is the cornerstone of a balanced and fulfilling life. It allows us to approach our interactions with others from a place of calm and understanding, rather than from a place of stress or conflict. This inner peace is not about the absence of challenges or difficulties, it's about learning to navigate life's ups and downs with a calm and centered mind. Life will always have its storms, but with inner peace we can weather them with grace and resilience. Mindfulness is a powerful tool for cultivating inner peace. It involves being fully present in the moment, aware of our thoughts, feelings, and sensations without judgment. This practice helps us to break free from the constant chatter of our minds and to find a sense of calm amidst the chaos. When we practice mindfulness, we become more aware of our thoughts, feelings, and sensations without getting carried away by them. We learn to observe them with curiosity and acceptance, rather than reacting to them impulsively. This awareness allows us to respond to life's challenges with greater clarity and calm. We can make more thoughtful decisions and cultivate a sense of inner stability, even in the face of adversity. We learn to observe our thoughts and feelings with curiosity and acceptance. This practice helps us to develop a more compassionate relationship with ourselves, which in turn allows us to be more compassionate towards others. Positive affirmations are another valuable practice for cultivating inner peace. Words have power. And when we repeat positive affirmations to ourselves, we can shift our mindset and cultivate a more peaceful inner dialogue. Affirmations like, I am at peace, or I choose to find moments of calm throughout my day can help to rewire our brains for greater peace and tranquility. These simple yet powerful statements can transform our inner landscape, making it more conducive to peace and well-being. By consistently practicing positive affirmations, we can create new neural pathways that support a more positive and peaceful mindset. This practice can be especially helpful during times of stress or uncertainty, providing us with a steady anchor of calm. 
By cultivating inner peace through mindfulness, positive affirmations, and other practices, we create a solid foundation for harmony to flourish in all areas of our lives. This inner peace radiates outward, influencing our relationships, our work, and our communities. When we are at peace with ourselves, we are better able to extend that peace to others and to the world around us. We become beacons of calm and stability, inspiring others to find their own inner peace. In this way, our personal practice of inner peace contributes to a more harmonious and peaceful world. Each moment of mindfulness, each positive affirmation, and each act of self-compassion adds to the collective peace of our communities and our planet. Our breath is a powerful anchor to the present moment. Whenever you feel yourself getting caught up in worries about the past or anxieties about the future, gently bring your attention to your breath. Notice the rise and fall of your abdomen as you breathe in and out. You don't need to change your breath in any way, just observe it. Feel the air entering your nostrils, filling your lungs, and then leaving your body. Your breath is always with you, a readily available tool for finding peace in the midst of any storm. As you focus on your breath, thoughts may arise. Acknowledge them without judgment and gently guide your attention back to your breath. It's like training a puppy. Be patient with yourself and keep returning to the breath. With each conscious breath, you cultivate a sense of presence and calm. This practice of mindful breathing is a simple yet profound way to connect with the present moment and find a sense of peace within. Section 4. Nurturing Harmony in Relationships extends beyond the individual to encompass our relationships with others. Harmonious relationships are essential for our well-being and contribute to a more peaceful society as a whole. When we approach our interactions with others through the lens of we prioritize empathy, understanding, and mutual respect. Empathy involves putting ourselves in another person's shoes and trying to see the world from their perspective. It's about understanding their feelings, even if we don't agree with their actions. When we practice empathy, we create a space for compassion and understanding to flourish. Active listening is another crucial aspect of nurturing harmonious relationships. It involves truly hearing and understanding what the other person is saying, both verbally and non-verbally. When we listen actively, we show the other person that we value their thoughts and feelings, which strengthens the bond between us. By practicing empathy, active listening, and other principles of we can cultivate relationships that are characterized by mutual respect, understanding, and a shared commitment to harmony. Section 5. Active Listening – The Heart of Understanding Active listening goes beyond simply hearing the words someone is saying. It involves a deeper level of engagement and connection with the speaker. It's about being fully present with the other person, paying attention to their body language, tone of voice, and the emotions they are expressing. This means not just hearing the words but also understanding the feelings and intentions behind them. When you listen actively, you create a space of safety and understanding where the other person feels truly heard. This space allows for open and honest communication, fostering a deeper connection. To practice active listening, give the other person your undivided attention. This means setting aside distractions and being fully present in the moment. Put away your phone, silence your thoughts, and focus on what they are saying. This can be challenging in our fast-paced world, but it is essential for meaningful communication. Use nonverbal cues like nodding, eye contact, and open body language to show that you are engaged. These signals convey that you are paying attention and value what the other person is saying. Reflect back what you hear to ensure you understand. This can be done by paraphrasing or summarizing the speaker's words. You can say things like, what I hear you saying is, or it sounds like you're feeling. This not only clarifies their message, but also shows them that you are making an effort to understand their perspective. This not only clarifies their message, but also shows them that you are making an effort to understand their perspective. It demonstrates empathy and respect for their feelings and thoughts. Active listening is a powerful tool for building strong and harmonious relationships. It helps to bridge gaps in communication and fosters a sense of trust and mutual respect. It fosters empathy, reduces misunderstandings, and creates a foundation of respect and understanding. By practicing active listening, we can improve our relationships and create a more harmonious and connected community.